Greetings, friends. We've had a day to process yesterday's deadliest mass shooting in the United States history. It happened here in the city, beautiful Orlando. And we've shed our tears. We've reached out to our friends in the LGBT community. And right now we're all trying to figure out how do we go forward in this dangerous world? The fact is we're all scared and confused. And it's at this moment that first of all, we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters who lost their lives. And the truth is, God's available to all of us right now as we struggle. God loves us. He loves us as we are, not as we should be, because really none of us are as we should be. And so I want to encourage everybody to, to reach out and embrace the love that God has made available to us. His love, it incorporates forever as he's prepared a place for us. But also it's a tangible strength and, and presence in our lives right now. He's available to help us sort this out and encourage us and give us hope for tomorrow. Sadly, evil is part of our world, but the Lord promises to overcome this evil with love. And that's where we step in, to offer you love. Anybody who's struggling right now to process what happened, anybody who needs counseling, someone to talk to, understand where was God. Our, our church would like to make our sales available to you. Uh, give us a call, make an appointment. Let us help you walk through this, uh, this crazy tragedy. In fact, our church is going to unite with all the churches in Celebration, Florida. But we're going to have a service on Thursday night, 7 o'clock, here at Community Presbyterian Church. It's going to be a service of lament where we can release our frustrations and mourning. It's going to be a service of healing and hope as we figure out how to go forward. Again, the anchor is going to be a God of love who promises not only a future hope, but a present help in times of trouble. Come, everyone's welcome.